issue a yellow card to both fighters and bring them up to their feet. Get working, And I don't know if that was someone in Yoshida's corner. I doubt it, but uh, I heard in English someone around the side going for the healer. Kill Hawk again. Someone screamed to Yoshida. Now he, and now he can do the reverse healer. Oh no. And they're both defending. I would say the other Something wrong with Yoshida's glove. Yeah. Slipping out of the finger holes. Go! That's it. That's the strike. Punch with more power. Very impressed with Matt Dean's officiating thus far. Boys crazy to do a good job with the striking as well, boss. Yeah, he's right. a very good balance right now. Now Yoshida brings Gracie down. And now he has a chance to go for an ankle lock submission here. Alex again, just to stand back up on his feet. Gracie. Seven and a half minutes, Royce. Gracie's gonna push him down, that's it. You see, he grabbed, he dipped the, the, the keep hands. Gracie over setting himself there momentarily now. He's got the mount position. What can he do now? Does he have enough power to push himself away and then just start wailing? You know, but he almost, he looked like he overextended himself momentarily. If Yoshida would have exploded, he would have swept him, been on top, but you're right. Now Gracie has full mount on Yoshida. But it's very dangerous what uh, Hoyce is doing. He puts his right arm underneath Yoshida's uh, neck so that Yoshida can turn Hoyce now to the left if Hoyce doesn't watch out. And Hoist now going to work again on the body, covered by the key. Not a lot of power to those shots, however. Now, boss, he looks uh, like yeah, Yoshida was trying to do just that. Go to his left. Yep. The reason why it didn't work now is because uh, Hoist is stretching his legs out, and then it doesn't work. Left. This is it. He should keep going. <laughs> and Gracie again talking to the referee. He should cross-face him right now. Cross-face him. Cross-face him. He should cross face him, create distance, and go for full shots, full power shots. And That's what he's doing right now. Should have brought his arms down lower to a waist lock and, and explode his hips, boss. He should start hitting, pushing this. Boys is very good in control right here. There's a cross face. Hit the body now. See, beautiful. Very nice. That's the liver shot there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're definitely seeing a great performance, a great fight on the part of Hoist Gracie. We're definitely not seeing the same Hidehiko Yoshida that we saw in the middleweight tournament boss. No, that's one thing for sure, but he fights a completely different opponent we have to That's say. true, and, but saying that, I don't see the same intensity or energy level that we're seeing from Hoist Gracie. I, I, I think Hoist does everything now to, to win the fight. I think in my eyes, if this would have gone to a decision, Hoist would have won a decision. Look at this. Gracie is now grounding and pounding Hidehiko Yoshida by. He's doing now he's a got his back. phenomenal job. He should just keep doing it now. But again, if it goes the full 10 minutes, if nothing is decided, it will be a draw. And where do we go from here, El Wapo? Straight to the bar. That's where I'm going to go after this. I'm talking about Hoist Gracie and oh. Hidehiko Yoshida, Mr. Rubin. Yes, now we go. Gicho, Gicho. Great job of Tracy striking from underneath Yoshida now. Not three minutes. Yoshida. It almost appears to me that Yoshida would watch the draw box. Yeah, Yoshida's not fighting anymore. He's got a buddy lock again now. The horse, oh no, he, he lost it. 
But I mean, hey, listen, if this would have been gone to a decision, Hodge would have won the fight. Look at this. A lot of striking on the part of Hoist Gracie. But again, Hoist needs to do enough. Now the heel into the stomach area of Yoshida, but how much time remains? Now Yoshida perhaps get the arm of Gracie, but Gracie's got the hooks in there, the underhook. I hear less than two minutes remaining, boss. Yeah, I, listen, the horse is doing a great job here. He's got to pull, try to pull out his left hand also, and then just start pounding away. This is it, mount again. There we go, come on. Mount again by And the strikes continue. The right raining down. Yeah, Yoshida's definitely in the surviving I, mode right here. And, and, I, and now the corner in a turtle position. Gracie's corner is disgusted with what they are seeing, and I, I really wonder what is going on with Yoshida right now. Is he healthy, or is this just a strategy? Does he just want it to go to a draw and be done with it? This is this is unbelievable, boss. Yoshida yeah. in a turtle position right now. Gracie has his back. Hoist Gracie with the hooks in. Hidehiko Yoshida appears to not want any part of Hoist Gracie right now, boss. No, Hoist is in total control. Look at this. No, this is not going to do any good for Yoshida's name here in Japan. That's one thing I'm telling you. And this is going to do a lot of good for Hoist's name. Hoist Gracie wanting to reestablish honor, wanting to bring back honor to his family, to his legendary father, Helio. And even if they go to a draw here tonight, boss, I do believe he has done enough to do that. Hoist Gracie, a Hall of Famer. Hoist Gracie, a pioneer. Look at what's happening right now, boss. Hoist Gracie, even though this fight will go down in the books as a draw, Hoist Gracie has definitely brought back honor to the Gracie family. And again, I do not want to discount the talents of this man right here, but I really wonder if Hidehiko Yoshida was 100% healthy here tonight. Look, look at Hidehiko Yoshida. I think Hoist. There's more to this story. Without the key. It will be a draw, fight fans. But I really wonder what is the. There it is. This is what I we all want to see, ladies and gentlemen, fight fans around the world. Hoist Gracie. And Ahiko Yoshida. Yeah, Hoist won this fight. It will be a draw officially. Officially. But the question that I would like answered is the health of Hideiko Yoshida. We saw what happened with Benner. So let's go back to some of this action now, boss. Look at this. He's in the mounted position. He's wailing away. Yeah, he's pounding away. Total control. Boss, you've been around. You've been around the sport your entire life. Can you shed any light, really, on what do you think is going on with Hideo Yoshida here tonight? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I just don't think he got overwhelmed. I think Hoist just pulled out of the ski, and so and, really, and, and, and then he thought, what the hell is going on? And Hoist did a better so you job. Think that was a psychological factor right from the outset when he took off the gi that played some mind games with Yoshida. I mean, I mean, yeah, I think it had to. I, um, yeah, he did, he did everything. So. It'll be interesting to see what the fallout of this will be for this man who had so much coming in. His, his performances during the middleweight tournament. Again, let's cut him some slack in that. He has only been involved in MMA for just over a year. Already a national hero. 
beloved by the fans here in Japan. But one has to wonder now, what is in store in the immediate future for Hidehiko Yoshida? Even though this belt will be uh, officially called a draw, in the minds and hearts of everyone who saw it, Royce Gracie is the winner, boss. Yeah, for sure. For sure he is. Gary Goodrich, his retiring match, what are you going to do? Um, it's going to be a tough fight, you know. Gary's been training real hard. Obviously, uh, he's got a pretty bad vendetta against me. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I think he's got a Don Fry doll. He's been sticking pins and needles in. And maybe a 16-penny nail or railroad spike. You know, I've been ripping the arms off of it. And uh, it's going to be a couple old men out there fighting. And uh, I think uh, the winner is going to be the second one to have a heart attack. <laughs> What is the strategy? <laughs> <laughs> Get to the oxygen first. <laughs> <laughs> You've been training real hard on, <laughs> on boxing lately. Stick and move. I asked you before uh, when we walked in the, in the, in the hotel, but it, it, are we going to see a different style of boxing in Don Fry? Because the one that I know is like somebody who stands against the wall and the tank is coming and he says, let's come on tank and fight. He, he doesn't step to the side. Do we see somebody else? Yeah, you know, at, at this age, um, you know, I, I kind of look forward to the uh, pedestrian crosswalk sign, you know. <laughs> and I'm going to move. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to move sideways this fight. Well, I'm going to hunt ahead. Uh, hopefully that's that's exactly Fry's game plan and we can uh, just go uh, like two, uh, two cavemen just going for the KO. And uh, what does it mean uh, for you to uh, be making your last appearance here in Japan? And like I say, in front of the fans, they've always uh, revered you. Um, you have your wife here, your sister, a lot of friends and family with you. Uh, what Can you uh, paint a picture for us of what this means for the gatekeeper right now? Well, actually, for me, I, I, I really don't want to go into that much because I don't want to start crying or choking up. But uh, uh, this really means a lot to me. Uh, you know, pride has been has been everything You know, it's been my life for the last uh, seven, eight years. Um, it, um, I'm kind of sidewalking away from it. Um, yeah, in front of the Pride fans, it's, uh, this, this is the number one crowd. You know, they've they've accepted me as one of their own uh, from the minute from the minute I walked into the ring, um, and shown me uh, the red carpet treatment uh, the whole time I've been here. Every time I'm here, from the time I step here to the time I leave. It's the right carpet treatment. I'm really going to miss everything, but, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be back uh, commentating, uh, refereeing or judging or something else, commentating, whatever. All right, let's focus then on tonight's fight. We'll leave the retirement uh, for, for when it actually happens. Uh, you have Mark Coleman, of course, in your corner, and the hammer, of course, took on Fry uh, at bat to the bone. He won a decision. What kind of uh, information has he been in, able to impart in you, uh, to you, and uh, what kind of training have you gone through uh, preparing for this boat? Well, Mark Coleman, uh, what he gave me, he said that how Fry is uh, pretty strong the first six minutes, and then after he peters away into a butterfly. But uh, uh, the special training I've done is uh, probably uh, McDonald's.
and the audience. And he sticks his hands up to the left side. And then he puts his right hand up to the right side. Look at the flame. Look at the picture. This is the big league, ladies and gentlemen. He is the crowd is on fire. As the man in Japan, MMA fans know him as the Predator, perhaps the most popular international star in the land of the rising sun. And tonight he will face his longtime nemesis, Big Daddy Gary Goodrich. And for the gatekeeper of Pride FC Goodrich, it will be his final farewell. Yeah, and this is going to be a slugfest. Those two guys, I think they're going to forget about that thing and we're going to see something unreal. Look, the crowd is on fire. The place is on fire! And you cannot call us a liar when we say the action at Pride FC Shockwave is hotter than fire. And for Mr. Fry, you talk about a slugfest. He scored a TKO victory over Yoshihiro Takayama at Pride 21 in what everyone is calling the best stand-up war in the history of Pride Fighting Championship. And you know what? When we talked to Don Fry prior to the bout, we asked him, Predator, could we see tonight when you take on Goodrich, Takayama, Fry 2, he says if Gary wants to do it, I'm game, baby. There he is, and the ovation says it all. Don the Predator Fry, the hand-picked opponent for Big Daddy Gary Goodrich. There you see him, and this his retirement bout for Pride FC. You see his sister, Susie. You see Kevin the Monster Randleman. Mark Coleman in his corner and the crowd saluting the Pride FC gatekeeper and this is final bout boss and uh, what an emotional, emotional time this is going to be. But now it's time to get down to business because for Gary Goodrich, he has faced Don Fry on two other occasions. Look at the stare down. Look at the stare down. And will this the third time be a charm? All right. This we are is set one to of go. These slides that I am nervous. I'm sitting here and I'm nervous. This is going to be a slugfest. I'm telling you. You watch. The first yes. was a submission loss at yes. UFC 8. David versus Goliath. Yes. The second a submission loss via exhaustion Ready? at UFC Ultimate Ultimate 1996. Go. And here we go. It's the third encounter. Go. The distance. Go. This go. is not going to go. The distance. Go. 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 The final meeting go. Go. between Don Fry and go. Gary Goodrich. Go. There you go. There you go. There you go. A little patience. We're all right. And there Goodrich lands a right. We know that Don Fry spent six weeks training in the Italian boxing in Houston, Texas. The same gym where. started to raid the low kicks and then Don Fry started to react to the low kicks and it switched to the high kick. It was the perfect plan of Danny Goodrich. Punch kick, low kick, another low kick, and then high kick. And see here. The tears the now begin to fall from Goodrich's eyes. He knows this is the end. They embrace. You see Kevin the Monster Randleman. And his sister Susie hugs him. Mark the Hammer. Coleman. Unbelievable! Could it have gone any better for Gary Goodrich? The gatekeeper scores an electrifying KO victory 
over his longtime nemesis. And one of the men he respects more than any other in this game, Don the Predator Fry. Ross, what is going through your mind uh, right now? I, uh, yeah, it was emotional. Uh, good for Gary. Uh, bad for Don. It's, oh my God. And going into the ring right now, we have Nobuhiko Takada and Mr. Saki Kabara. The executives of Dream Stage Entertainment cry, there's Don Fry. He's regained his faculties, hugging Gary, sharing some special moments there, and now raising his arm. Unbelievable. And the look on Gary Goodrich's face says it all. Trying to fight back the tears. The fans here at Saitama saluting him. And there is the president. Thank you, Yes, absolutely. Thank you for all the Asking Gary Goodrich to keep in touch, thanking him for the many years of service. Let's just soak up this moment, boss. Unbelievable. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Yes. Yeah. Nobohika Takata calling Gary Goodman's Mr. Pride. Uh, uh, I'm sorry I'm a little emotional tonight because time is, tonight means a lot to me. Um, thank you to all my Japanese fans for making me feel at home every time I come here. Special thanks goes out to my, uh, my corner. Andrew McMichael, Dave Shuttleworth, the one and only Mark Coleman, Kevin Randleman, my beautiful sister Susie, and uh, my special wife, Karen Goodrich. And uh, I'm sorry that Tom, Tom Erickson couldn't make it tonight. I don't want to sit here all night and let you listen to me, so. Akimeshte yeah. Omerito! Just wish the Japanese fans Happy New Year and what a New go. Year it's going to be Here we go, here we go. Oh my God, what a kick. And it looked like Fry was out before he even hit the canvas, not even breaking his fall. Daniel Gracie returns to Pride FC here at Shockwave 2003, coming off a loss at Pride Bushido to Kazuhiro Nakamura, a loss that he feels was perhaps not justified, and making his debut here at Pride Fighting Championships, Wataru Sakata. What is this going to be? And let me introduce a special guest we have here. We have here next to me, sitting, he was in Japan and he thought, you know what, I'm going to visit the best mixed martial arts event in the world, Pride Fighting Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, we have here Bill 
Goldberg. What's hey, up? Hey, hey, what's up? Good Wapo. I'm doing good. I'm doing Dutch. good. Dutch. Okay, so what Dutch. do you think? What do you think about Ready? the event? Exciting Go. night, man. Exciting night. Anytime I'm in Japan, uh, I make sure I, I make my trips around the Pride events. I wish I could have been here for Bushido. I haven't been here for, I've been here for a while, but uh, it's always exciting. Very honorable uh, sport they have over here. It's always good to be next to you. Thank you very much, sir. And I might That's learn good. something. Yes, hey, and I'm feeling very good you're sitting next to me. Look at the high kick. Nearly hit him. Ooh. Gracie said he wanted to put on a stand-up show following that heartbreaking loss to Nakamura at Bushido. And Bill, I know you've been a big fan of mixed martial arts uh, for, for many, many years. In fact, as you've mentioned many occasions that you've uh, derived your character on the mixed martial arts profession. What has impressed you most about MMA? Well, you know, what's, what's impressed me most about pride has been uh, the, the honorable nature of all of these guys. Uh, you know, in the ring, they're killers. Outside of the ring, they're, they're terrific guys. They're very honorable. And, uh, you know, it really says a lot for the sport. It really says a lot for pride, actually. We had Daniel Gracie, their boss, going for a guillotine attempt now. Yeah, and like I said, he had an arm in between. It's very difficult to submit somebody once they got the arm in between, but he used this situation to reverse his opponent, and now he's in the half guard. And I bet you within now and about 15 seconds, he will have the full mount, a uh, half mount, two full mount. You know, Bill Goldberg, one of the top stars in his profession around the world, and he said he had to come to Japan to see the number one MMA organization in the world. And tonight, here at Shockwave 2003, on hand at Saitama Super Arena, the official attendance, 39,716. Yeah. I think uh, it's 39,000 because they couldn't fit any more people in here. It's 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 unbelievable, this place. And it's it's crazy to know that the last time we did Bushido here, this place can actually expand and and, and, and it, it can shrink. It can contract so you just right. called me a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I guess you learned something to do every day. Boss Rudin, I don't uh, want to be spared. <laughs> Trust me. One of the few people that might be able to get away with it since you guys are such close friends, but I, I wouldn't... Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with us being close friends. <laughs> This is the famous, uh, or infamous boss root there. You know, it's amazing seeing a Gracie this size. Look at this. It looks like he's going for a leg lock now. No, he's, start, he's going for kicks. I have, I have to tell you that I thought that uh, Daniel was going to submit uh, Sakata way sooner, making his debut, you know, and all. And I think he's a crazy good submissions. I thought this was going to end in a quick submission. Originally, it was scheduled to be high and Gracie to take on Sakata. In fact, Daniel did not find out until a few weeks ago when high and, in fact, injured his shoulder during training. Daniel was chosen to take his place, so Daniel is here on short, short notice to take on Sakata. Who, by the way, has a background in Puroresu and has been out of MMA for one year. And look at this, he's got the side mind now, and this is a dangerous position. Now he can knee to the head, knee to the body, and all the, all the submissions. I mean, he's, he's open to everything right now. He's got a Gracie on top of him. He, there's no, uh, uh, no question he's in trouble. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to buck this guy off. Uh, Who are the, some of the fighters that you uh, look forward to seeing here tonight, Bill, at Shockwave 2003? Well, you know, we've seen uh, a number of them already. Unfortunately, my buddy Don didn't do so well. Um, love him to death, man. And, uh, you know, Gary uh, loses uh, a farewell fight. You know, I got mixed emotions, almost puked after the damn match, but uh, anytime you can see Sakuraba fight, it's, it's wonderful, and Mario Sperry, I mean, these guys are technicians, and what they do is absolutely unbelievable to me, especially, you know, as calm as they do it. Yep. Still to come is Sperry against Yuki Kondo and Sakuraba against Nogueira. Yeah. He's looking for an armbar here, Daniel Gracie. He's going to Simon. I would, I would start raining knees to the body. I have oh, he's to. He's in a good position to do that now. Sorry to Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Yes, to the hat right now. He can do it to the hat. But I have to say, Sakata is doing a real good job. Look at this. The guy makes his mixed martial arts debut. That's very surprising. You know? No, it's not his MMA debut. In fact, he did compete for rings years ago, but it is his Pride FC debut. See, turnabout's fair yeah. play. Now he's calling you a liar. Yeah, no, no, no. But I call, I call, well, how long is it to go when he competed in rings? Because now, there's an armbar 
When, how long is it ago when it was for Riggs? Riggs was, uh, I do believe, about two or three years ago. My uh, okay. crack statistician here is telling me about two years ago. Okay, then it's okay, because in the beginning, um, it was something different for me. But now he's in a good position. And Daniel looks like in a kind of a turtle position. He's going to try to sweep him, maybe. No, he cannot, because the leg is there. Sorry, I saw it wrong. But Daniel has such a good position, he gave it up. Bill, what's going on here? Unbelievable. The cat is a physically... Knees, right knees. Sometimes you sit here and in the whole they have this saying, they say the best, uh, the best captains are always on the shore, you know? And it is. It's We're not there right now. No question. I can never uh, really say too much because my game is a little bit different than what these guys do. But that's why I respect this so much. Daniel looking to score with those knees now to the head. Back into a cross side position with the half guard of Sakata. Yeah, but still, Bill, but what you were saying just uh, like 10 seconds ago, I wouldn't get like to get in a fight with you. <laughs> well, you know, I just weigh a little bit more than you do, and God forbid you hit me and I fall on you, you know. Uh, yeah, right. It might be the end of it. <laughs> like For both of them. Because when you wake up, I'm running. <laughs> oh, the other way around. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, this is a position. Mount. Bang. This has got to be over now. We're talking about a crazy here. This is very difficult to buck him up. He, Definitely he's got to turn on his do. belly. He's got to turn on his belly because this is a very bad position to be in. Laying yeah. there like like a back is not a good thing. Look, there's his back. Armbar coming. Armbar. There we go. Armbar. Help. He is. Armbar. He has Armbar. Yeah, he's he's got it. He's going to get it. He's got, he's got it. it. He's now got it's it. in full yep. Armbar position. Say good night. Oh, and looking oh, look at Sabata trying to kick. Gracie, give him full credit here. Say, there, there goes, goes his arm, arm guys. Yeah. Look at this. Well, look at Sakata continue to survive, you guys. His arm is hyperextended, and then he says something like this. Daniel Gracie even put it underneath his armpit, and he's still there. And he's not capitulating. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it's over, uh, finally. Yeah, but my he, goodness. Yeah, snap. He <laughs> may have literally snapped it there, Bill. I think the referee heard it, Steph. Yeah, you know, one thing about the Japanese fighters, and a lot of the, uh, anybody who steps in this ring here, they've got such pride, sometimes it gets in the way of, uh, you know, uh, fresh. Maybe they, common yeah, sense. The yeah, it's very irrational sometimes. I mean, well, you know, Don's kind of known for doing this. Yes. You know. Break my arm. I yeah, really break my arm, but I'm not going to tap. Absolutely. I tell you what, I... I I have so much respect for these people, I really do. It's just absolutely amazing. Always an honor to be here with you guys, and uh, thank you for letting me participate again. Thank you very much for being with us. We really appreciate it. It's an honor for us, trust me. Uh, thank you very much, my friend. Bill Goldberg, always a pleasure. Continued success in your future endeavors, and let's take a look now at that arm bar. Uh, watch how he turns him up. Textbook. Now he's going to push him over to the other side. The, uh, oh, this is, this is textbook. This absolutely. Is, it's beautiful. I mean, look at and you. Do, I always say you do not want to piss the guy off who has a dominant position over you. He can break his arm. Yeah, why would you kick him in the head? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would break his arm now. Oh, you kick me in the head. Yeah, exactly. Now. Bang. Yeah, if he didn't want to do it before, I yeah. can tell you what, I'd snap it like a pencil. <laughs> at 7 minutes and 12 seconds of the first round, Daniel Gracie coming off a loss at Bushido. As right of the ship here at Shockwave 2003, Gracie records the victory over Wataru Sakata. And again, a big thank you to Bill Goldberg. Yes. Love, love you guys. Thanks again. I'm going to go back and see how my boy Don's doing. Okay, man. Take care and say hi to Don for me. Taking on, making his Pride FC debut, you Pancrase star Yuki Kondo. Yes, and we have 
special guest again next to us, who is going gonna call the shots with us. Ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce here Hanzo Gracie. It's a pleasure to be with you guys here. Thank and you. you did introduce me right. I'm the best looking guy on mixed martial arts. You are the best Brazilian. Best Brazilian looking martial arts. Who's the best Dutch? Dutch me. me. Now we're talking. And now we're talking. That's what we're talking about. Here we go. Time to start the battle. What do you think about this fight? It's an unpredictable fight. Conor is a very strong fighter. He proved that when he fought Chiro Ortiz in the UFC. And let's see how this starts. Hondo, holder of the prestigious title of King of Pancrase Light Heavyweight Division. I think Rutan knows a thing or two or three about the King of Pancrase. Yeah, three things. His stand-up is incredible. Yes. He hits knees out of nowhere. It's a very dangerous fighter. Look at this, look at this. He's gonna pull this out. He has to pull it out. In the leg pickup by Sperry. And of course, Henzo, you know all about Mario Sperry, a fellow He's Brazilian. He's a very strong fighter. Not only strong physically, but very strong technically too. He started the fight very well, reversing Kondo into a single leg, and now took Kondo down. During the late 90s, Sperry won numerous awards in the Abu Dhabi Submission Wrestling Championships, including the heavyweight and absolute divisions in 97. I know, Hanzo, you were also successful in those tournaments. Yeah, it was always a pleasure to watch him wrestle there. It's a very amazing fighter. He don't stop moving, very aggressive, and it's going to be a very good fight tonight. So we're having the chance to witness the history here. Hey, leg lock. He's going for leg lock. That's what I'm saying. Look how dangerous Kondo is. I don't, I don't see that Kondo is going to tap on the leg lock. I don't see that because Frank Gross is very well known for the leg locks. Something very unpredictable. Kondo went for arm bar. That's how he ended up on the bottom. Yep. Okay, look, he is pushing now. He's trying to go for a leg lock himself. Gets top position. No, Mario's got a single leg. Sperry coming off a TKO victory over Andre Kapilov at Pride 22, while Kondo has a very impressive resume. Victories over Semi Schilt, Frank Shamrock, and Guy Metzger. Again, this is debut in Pride FC, and so far, a very entertaining start. Look at the strikes. He is striking, he's striking. Very strong hands. Yeah. Very tough guy to take down. As you can see, Sperry's a very good. Wrestler, his takedowns are very strong, but still he has a lot of trouble to take Kondo down. Look at this beautiful sprawl. Nice sprawl there by Kondo. Nice takedown defense being exhibited by the Pancras star making his Pride FC debut. Look, he's constantly pushing the head down. That's going to be a knee. For the knee. You gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing you have to do. He has a, already a big swell up oh, his left yeah. eye. So body that lock. shows how dangerous Kondo is. Kondo, a superior striker, Henzo. He's one of the best strikers I have ever seen in mixed martial arts. There's not a moment that you can relax with him. He's always very aggressive and very technical. He's got flying knees, his punches are crazy, he's done it, he's nice. nice food normally. He'll trip beautiful, take down beautiful there. take down. By Sperry. Henzo, were you surprised by Hoist? Look at his, this. Uh, striking abilities in his you see with Yoshida. Look at this. I'm sorry, I've got to answer you in two yep. seconds. Go ahead. But you see how, um, how tough it is to keep Kondo down. It's like he has springs on his legs. He keeps standing. Look. Look at him. And what it looks like, his stamina is unbelievable. He never, it's like he doesn't need, need to breathe. He can go forever with the same rhythm. Oh! And now the tables have been turned. I don't know if you guys realize Sperry was out there for a few seconds. So yes, the referee right. didn't realize that. And he's put the hooks in now as he's gained his yeah. back. Kondo was looking at him. Yeah. Look how slow he's moving now. This is the result of the knee that he received. And he's a bloody mess oh, yeah. with Mario Sperry. There's a big cut there. They're going to go for the doctor check. The doctor check and while we have this brief moment, then let's get back to the question at hand. Were you surprised at all or impressed, maybe, with Hoyce's striking ability against Yoshida earlier no, tonight? I was at all. I knew, I knew the, that would be the continuation of their last fight. I don't know if you realize, the fight went the same way that it was going on Dynamite in 2003. So we, we, he did, all the moves that he did on the locker room was exactly what he did in the he ring. Got. So we're expecting like exactly those moves and and he showed himself in a very good shape. What he, about, even, he even took his gi off to show up. That was he He didn't shave down there. Yes, yes. <laughs> what did you gotta go by step? And that's over. It's over. The fight is over. Oh, it's been stopped and be a cut. TKO. Very, very dangerous guy to fight. He, 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 he,
it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like the fight don't even start for him. It's amazing. Yeah. He's one of the toughest guys coming up. I believe one of the toughest Japanese fighters on the right now is Yuki Kondo. Yeah. Sure. Three minutes and 27 seconds due to a doctor stoppage. Yuki Kondo records the victory over Mario Sperry. And believe it or not, Kondo has wanted to fight in Pride FC since 2000, but due to pancreas obligations, was not allowed to. But boy, oh boy, our Pride that FC was, fans have to the show. Now. That was unbelievable. Even though Sperry show a lot of heart, a lot of technique, yep. it's hard to stop the machine. And Kondo doesn't stop for a second. Non-stop attacks went from one thing to the other. He's gonna say something which we're not gonna understand, so hey. Well, we can, tell, well. Well, we can tell the fans at Henzo that in 2004, Yuki Kondo has his sights set on Vanderlei Silva's middleweight championship. As well, he wants to fight Japanese legend Kazushi Sakuraba. This will be an unbelievable fight if that happens. Let me tell you one thing. Since now I saw that you guys have the best seat in the house, I hope you guys invite me to see that one. Uh, close. The replay that was Go unbelievable. The replay Look at this knee. That knee oh, land very that hard. Knee. Look oh, how he's out now. Yeah, he yeah. was completely out after this knee. Oh, yeah. The referee didn't realize. Kondo is looking up to the referee now. Yes, oh. it took him a few seconds to recover. Yeah. And even after that, he was moving very slow. Look how his arms are soft. Like he had no defense back then. Hey, Hensel, you're hired, my man. What a big job. Uh, it was a pleasure to be well. here with you guys. There he is, one of the Gracie legends himself, Hensel Gracie, joining us here ringside. A scintillating debut for Yuki Kondo as he scores the TKO victory over Brazilian jiu-jitsu legend Mario Sperry. Ronnie, what are your thoughts uh, going through your mind as you're about to uh, take it to the next level in your career? Fighting on the big stage now. Uh, I'm actually quite excited. Uh, a little bit uh, disappointed I didn't get enough time to prepare for it, but hey, I'm here to win and I'm going to try to knock him out. Of course, uh, you have a kickboxing background, being the younger brother of a kickboxing veteran, uh, Ray Sifo. Uh, any advice uh, Big Bro gave to you uh, before coming to Pride? Uh, actually, you just said to knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> For our fans in New Zealand, there he is, your native son, Ronnie Seifo, making his MMA debut here at Pride FC Shockwave 2003, and his opponent, a much decorated veteran of Japanese MMA battles, Kiyoshi Tomura. And again, another guest. Another guest. It's, and, and I'm so happy that I can introduce him, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have nobody else than nobody else than Quinton Rampage Jackson. Quinton showed the hand. <laughs> what, what, what did you tell me about the hand? You, you can't play video games anymore now? I, I can't play video games. You, you cannot, never mind, let's not go into that. But let's not go into that. <laughs> you broke it in the first round. Oh, man. And, but still, you kept fighting bang and then you took it easy to you. So it's, yeah. Okay, Dutch. what do you think about this fight? Dutch. The striker going in, Dutch. do you think Tamura wants to strike Red. with him or you think he's gonna go shoot right away? If he's smart, Red. he's gonna shoot, man. Let's see how smart he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Left kick to the body, watch. Right. He, like a little predictable, left kick to the body. I would counter it right away with the right straight. If was Mr. Seifu. He's not so smart. No. Oh, he's making mistakes already. Seifo, a kickboxing champion in New Zealand. There's the shot you guys were looking for. Single leg pickup and a takedown by Kamura. Yeah, and now Kamura. this could be over fast now. I hope not, man. I like Seifo. The, oh, yeah, I like him a lot, too. But he told me that he trained maybe two weeks in in, um, in the submissions. Yeah. If Tamura is going to cross face him now, he can go for straight up. Hey, 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 look at that. Oh. I know he didn't train much because I, I was here two weeks ago and we was partnered at the same club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got messed up that night. Oh, yes, you did. Yeah. You? I did. Yeah. yeah. You messed up Manoa with that knee to the uh, face. 
So finish that fight. What was the fallout of that, Quinton, by the way? He came at you right after that fight. What, you a few words? Uh, he's coming from Umbar. He said he wanted to rematch. I'll gladly give him one with my hand healed up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got to take care of him. Yeah. We all want to be matches when stuff like that happens. I thought they stopped the fight too early, but... Was there uh, still chicken left after... Uh... No, you ate my last piece of chicken. <laughs> okay. I can't believe it. How could you do a black man like that, boss? I uh, know. You're going to get it back when, once we're in LA. Listen, Full why is there, Tamura sure. not cross-facing him so he breaks his grip and then goes for strikes or goes for an armbar? I can understand what... Um, Ronnie is doing just holding on him. He should bridge and buck and maybe he's just waiting for the referee to say okay Get up on your feet again. Yeah, yeah, that'd be smart. I had to take the yellow car and try to go. Oh nice shots there. Yeah, keep going. Keep doing that. I Tried to use that yellow car thing to just set him up. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, coming. Uh, uh, he's uh, good. Come on man. Roll yeah, with that's gonna be an armbar. But he, he only has to turn to him at the moment you make the armbar. Or just make sure that um, Timur, uh, Kimur, uh cannot bring his left leg over his head. It's an easy defense, Tamura. Yeah. If you know how to do it, he's going to step oh. it over. Oh, it's going to be over. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, box, that's over. Now. Yeah. And there's the tap. And Kyoshi Tamura coming up a loss to Hidehiko Yoshida at Pride Total Elimination in August. Records a quick victory here over Ronnie Sapo and uh, Quentin Jackson at uh, two minutes and 20 seconds of the first round. Tamura vanquishes Sapo. What about you, uh, Quentin? What do you have planned for 2004? What are your goals? My goal was to be champion, but I got a minor setback. I don't know how long it's going to put me out. It's my first time ever having any serious injury or any broken bones. I've been hit by cars, you know, shot at, duck, you know what I'm saying, doing all that type of stuff. So. Man, you know, I hit the guy upside the head and here I go. It's going to be over. This is going to be healed. Totally healed in six weeks. Yeah. But until you can use it again and everything, it's going to take like two months. Yeah. But it's a sign from God says, okay, let's develop everything else yeah, now. Yeah, you go see some you stuff. You know, that's uh, what the Japanese people always tell me. Yeah. You get injured in your right hand, that means train more with your left. Yeah. It's a sign from above. So if you see it positively, yeah. then, then you can use it. Yeah, you know? I'm trained on kicks, knees, and my jab, get everything else working, and do more jiu-jitsu and wrestling. Well, you definitely uh, utilize the knees to perfection in your bout with Manoa. <laughs> yeah. Sending a message, perhaps, to Vanderlei Silva? Yeah, he better watch out. And it's, it's Santa Claus, he better watch out. He better not cry. It's, uh, it's, it's a coming. new year now, uh, Bob. Uh, that's a few weeks ago, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, but yeah, I still want to sing it. What do you want to do about it? Uh, nothing. Uh, I get yeah. this, what I mean. I got Quentin, though, that's baby. What I mean. Jackson, hey, can help me out. I'm going to take you to the barber shop. You're lucky you're wearing glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you a haircut from the neighborhood. You're going to be looking better than the heat and hair around it, man. <laughs> Kiyoshi Tamura, obviously, in the ring with an overmatched and... Uh, Outclass Ronnie Sapo now addressing the crowd here at the Saitama Super Arena where nearly 40,000 have congregated to watch Shockwave 2003. And we do thank the one, the only, Quentin Rampage Jackson, fresh off his win tonight over Ikohisa the Punk Manoa. Now on the shelf for up to six weeks, back to training after that. And again, his sights are set on that middleweight championship for yeah. 2004. Thank man. you very much, Rampage. Yeah, I know, man. I'm, I'm going to have to come back hard and stronger than ever. You know, everybody got to get a uh, butt kick in there now and then. You know, set them straight. Yeah. But I don't want no more, though. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you, you almost had a box kick, and you did a real good job. And it, it was just when he, it was the heart of a lion. You did a grit. The referee stepped to fight. And it was, it was man trusting. It was heart of a lion. That's what happens in the war. It means a lot to me, boss. I look up to this guy, man. Ever since I started fighting, man. Boss Cito, I even broke my, my, my thing right there. He had it. I tried to be like, yeah, you got yeah, yeah. I'm the black boss. Let's take a look, Quentin, at how Tamora finished this fight off. Yep, straight up. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was incredible analysis. I want to thank you again from Memphis, Tennessee, the king of the slam, Quentin Rampage Jackson, joining us here at Pride FC Shockwave 2003. I hope y'all enjoy it, man. Pride is Ichi Bond. That means the best.
Japanese freedom. Kazushi Sakuraba receives here from the 40,000 in attendance here tonight, Don. Yeah, I tell you what, this has got to be the best way to finish up the year for Pride yeah. or for any fighting event. This is the best fight to cap this, this year. Yeah, I think so too. I think, um, to tell you the truth, I, Nogueira uh, has a really good chance. If there's one, somebody that can beat Sakuraba, it's Nogueira. And tonight, Yuki Kondo, did you see that? Yeah, Yuki that was Kondo. Me. He is good, too. He will be also next year in the tournament, I guess. In the middleweight tournament, of course, because he's not a heavyweight. <laughs> but that guy, he amazed me what so. About you? We need to sign you up, cowboy. No, I can't, cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Too many movies, right? Eh? Yeah. I protect I that so. pretty face. Yeah, I have to because yeah, thank you said it, and I say it all the time. Pretty <laughs> face. <laughs> Noguera's twin brother, the Pride interim heavyweight champion, Rodrigo Noguera, was quoted as saying that his brother's a better striker and grappler than Sakuraba. Don Fry, how do you watch fight? this? Oh, look at that. Attack. That's amazing. See what if he's more than another me. He's going, he's doing, he's pulling a Vandale Silva on him. And let's face it, through all the wars that Sakuraba's been in lately, this this amazing athlete is never 100% healthy. And that, that is the case here again tonight. But again, stepping into the ring. And what do you have to say in response to the quote by Nogueira's brother, the Pride Heavyweight Champion, that his brother Minotaro here is a better striker and grappler than Sakuraba? Yeah, dude, well, that's scary because that's exactly what Hoy said about his brother Hickson. And uh, we all know how, how good Hickson is. And we all know how great Hoy is. So yeah. if that's true, you know, that's a frightening. Yeah. And so far we've seen definitely Noguera take the fight to Sakuraba in the early stages of round number one. Yeah, like you said, Sakuraba's always injured. You know, he's an eight-cylinder engine. He's always running on four cylinders. If he come back on eight cylinders, even seven cylinders, you know, he'd be back on top. Yeah, like I said before, we saw before tonight, we saw also somebody else coming in with the whole gear around their knees. I think it could be also a thrown off because if you catch somebody with an armbar or a triangle choke, they can't slip out, you know, with a triangle choke because, you know, it absorbs the sweat. So it could work it's like in stick, favor of you. Stick him in football, you know? That's what I mean. Ogerio coming off of two surgeries on his arm. He's been more than five months with his arm immobilized, but he tells us that he's now 100% healthy. And his brother, the Pride Heavyweight Champion, says that he will be the first person to ever submit Sakuraba on the ground. Time will tell. I ain't gonna call either one of those guys a liar, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, look those at these guys are tough. And the reflexes both are really good. Oh, 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 got a good takedown defense. Sakuraba is a master at his takedowns. He may not get a chance to submit Sakuraba. He may knock him out. I think Sakuraba's bleeding. Somebody's bleeding. No, nope. like oh, got no, a good gas on him. Oh boy, does he ever! The, uh, oh, high area. That is we saw not. Sperry. We yeah. saw Sperry with a vicious cut, and that brought about the conclusion of that fight to Yuki Kondo. But in that fight, Kondo was definitely dominating here, early stages. And let's hope that this is. This whole, you know, they can't finish this fight like this. No, no way. good way to finish this fight. No, there's a and neither, one, neither one of these champions would want this fight to finish. Not this at way. all. You know, these guys would go out there and fight blind if they had to. And that goes for a majority of the athletes who compete in Pride Fighting Championships. And again, Don Fry joining us here ringside for the main event. Let's take a look here. But Don, it's good to see that you're back on your feet and able to join us after uh, that devastating knockout loss to Gary Goodrich earlier tonight. Yeah, it's nice to be back on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Always feels good. But a true warrior is Don the Predator Fry. And now there is concern over the cut that Nogueira has suffered. They've got to stop the bleeding and allow it to go on. They just can't let it finish like this. No, they can't. It'll be a really major disappointment for the crowd. Okay, they're going to let it go. I, can't, I, I, I think they're going to let it, it looks, go. It looks like it's just... What, is it on the side of the nose? Because if yeah. it's on the side of the nose, it's not even in that dangerous. No, it's, of it's, it's, it's over the, the eye. eye. Is it over the eye? They are going to allow it to continue. And Thank that much you. to the delight of everyone. Now oh, these guys are a couple gladiators, and they're gonna quit over a little scratch. And it remains in the stand-up now. Oh, was it a low? If it would have been a hit, it would have been the groin. What that does, it gives uh, Sakuraba a psychological advantage now. And there's just a little hint of doubt 
in O'Gara's brain. A nice uh, it late good kick behind. Didn't there. last long, though, did it? <laughs> yeah. He should set it up with the, with the right straight, and that make the left low kick. It's so hard to fight those damn southpaws, too, you know? Yeah, but they're both oh, southpaws. Oh, yeah. And you're right, though. I mean, they both have to deal with the other being the southpaw. Nice leg kick delivered there by Sakuraba. Another one delivered. Is this fight going to the ground? That's I was just going to say, boss, yeah. is it what you know? It'd be it's surprising right now that with these two great fighters, and I mean they're both very well rounded. It would be behoove Nagara, I think, to take it to the ground. Oh. And the continues to blow. Take down by Sakuraba. Hey, go, go for his he jump, just pushes man. him down. Now that cut. Here comes the big magic jump. Maybe come across, yeah, here's the Sakuraba trademark that he may be setting him up for. Well, Gary's got those long legs, so it's going to be a heck of a jump. It could be an Olympic, <laughs> yeah. Olympic, Olympic style jump here. He needs like a four feet vertical leap now. <laughs> <laughs> How many meters is that? <laughs> Nogueira it's in the a meter and 20 centimeters. Trying to keep uh -huh. Sakuraba at bay, maybe use his leg as a pole ball. I hate that kick straight to the knee. I think that one ought to be outlawed. Right to the patella tendon, and that is very dangerous. Oh my god, you speak Italian, my friend. The patella. Yeah. The patella tendon. The patella. Get two patella pizzas, will you? <laughs> the cranium. The, the people are, now, people seriously, are. guys, this cut over the uh, right eye of Nogueira. How much of a concern Ooh. is that? It doesn't day? seem to be affecting him at all. No. But it continues to. Oh, and while it may not be a concern, but the blood continues to flow, and now going for the guillotine. It's got the guillotine, but I don't think that he can finish the game. Oh, no, the, the arm is trapped. The arm, the arm, the arm is in. blocking it. Yep. What Sakuraba's got to do, he's got to work on that cut in order for that cut to become a problem. Now Sakuraba already in those rights. Wow, hey, what a between Noguera, Rogerio Noguera, and Kazushi Sakuraba, the main event of Shockwave 2000. Watch this, he's got to come down the arm bar. Now it's time, now it's time, to, now it's time to attack that eye, because um, in this position, if he attacks that eye, that cut, he can fill up the eye with blood, and he won't be able to see. Definitely yep. hinder the vision, and that it looks like what Sakuraba may be attempting to do here, working from Noguera's guard. Yeah, he can even open the cut a little bit more, you know, so the referee's going to stop it, or the, the doctor's probably going to stop it. All right. Of course, Noguera, ultra dangerous from this position the as is, well. These are two great athletes. It's yeah. not like the other people on another channel who've got a couple of slugs out there, you know, uh, just uh, filling up the filling up the ring. You know, these guys are great, tremendous, world-class athletes. I wonder if Noguera is going to open the guard and is going for submission. I wonder if he's going to try Tackle to go for the, for, the tri for the triangle choke there. I, I, I want to see it. There we go. There he goes. He's slapping that cut. Yep. There you go. Triangle. Oh, stepping nope. him away. Sakuraba able to stand Sakuraba up. Sakuraba slick. He asks Sakuraba his kids to come back to the guard. Sakuraba will have none of that right now from the butt scoop position. Why would he? The referee, exactly. The referee doing the right thing, they're bringing the back him. up to the feet. We're going to clean him up again. Watch. Yep. No, no, they're not. So don't watch. No, his vision still seems to be there. It doesn't, as Don Fry mentioned, doesn't seem to be posing a problem at this stage, but it'll definitely be something the medical staff and everyone will keep a close eye on if you'll pardon the pun. What Sakuraba would do, he would, what he should do, he should work the jabs. Just continue throwing jabs on that cut. Oh, oh, Gara comes yeah. back for the devastating shot. They both have really good reflexes. Nogueira's working really good. Sakuraba's got good hands now. I mean, they're wild, but the reflexes are there. And what a way to close out Shockwave 2003, you guys. Here we are. What a way to the close best out warriors. the year. You know? Yeah, exactly. This is the best fight that money could buy. Nogueira and Sakuraba. Nogueira gets a shot in there again on Sakuraba's face. Sakuraba, there's a kick. 
You know, these are two of the three greatest athletes at this weight class in the world. You know, and it's great just sitting here watching this stuff. Sakuraba coming off the victory over Rattleman, but you know what? This is the best that I've seen Sakuraba in a long time. Well, this is a competitive fight, you know? Yes. I mean, you got no Garrow's right there at his level. Great fighters make great fights. Yep, Styles make fights. You're right about that, John. Lots of snap in that kick. Yep, he's setting up, though. He's giving the right straight, and then the left low that's kick, right. you know, and that's Looking the, for the, the way shot. you have to set it up. Noguero's got that length, you know. He should work that jab and try and, try and open up a cut on Sakuraba. Or he should attack the knees with those kicks. It's been a seesaw affair so far, Don. How do you see it right now? It, I mean, pride, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. The whole fight is adjudicated, but how do you see this right now? Is it too close to call for this round? It's too close for me, I'll be <laughs> Down the left hand, that scores. Sakharov goes to the ground. That looked like the, the hand that Beverly Silva gave with the last time. Oh, and we are in the midst of a slugfest here between Sakharov and Nogueira. Oh, Sakuraba is rubbing it in a bit. He looks like the legs. Yep. Maybe a little rubbery, trying to regain his faculties. Noguera giving him that respite. Yeah, he should have. He should have taken right now. Should have kept on him. Yeah. Noguera's got the power and he's got the length and the leverage. You know. Yeah. He's just a total package for this position. There's a nice kick by Sakuraba. Noguera now seems to be intensifying. As he continues to stalk Sakuraba. He's got to turn it up a notch. He's got to do it now. You know, they, they need one of those Brazilian scientists down there to clone these two boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and have you noticed? A, oh, left hand by Nogueira. That puts Sakuraba through the ropes. Do you see how effective Nogueira is with the counter? That's when beautiful. Sakuraba goes for the kick, right away met with the right hand. That's just beautiful. He's got to go fast now if he wants to do something because we have about 30 seconds left, I guess. Maybe 50. Aguirre is so fast, you know, you don't even see it coming. Meeting there, and it ends up with Aguirre in the butt scoop position again. Now Sakuraba. Not too concerned. Nice kick delivered there by Sakuraba. Yeah, the reflexes on these guys are like a couple yeah, of snakes fighting, you know? And Kenzo Gracie said it earlier, it's like having springs in your legs, and that's exactly what a what a beautiful round and a tremendous fight thus far between Kazushi Sakuraba and Ogerio Mishnogera. Uh, let's see that cut with a good camera angle, for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they look at the gun and they put the camera on the other side. Hey, that's... Well, they don't really want to show how violent the sport is. Yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> but it's a little gun, come on, a little gun. It's a schoolgirl gun, you know? Free play time. Bang, look at that. That was that long left. It was, like I said, it looked like Vendelay Silva. You remember when Vendelay dropped Sakuraba with that long arm? That was the same place, look like. What's amazing, watch, you know, watch as he's moving forward. He's lunging, he's not exactly lunging, he's sitting down on that punch as he's advancing. Yep. Which is just tremendous technique, look at that. He's long, he's lanky, and he's solid. Oh, he should have needed him right there, and then the referee broke it. Look how close he was. You know, but look at Sakuraba to come back from something like that, yep. you know? No, Jeez. Jeez. Able to weather the storm was Sakuraba. Able to deliver some punishment of his own was Sakuraba. And Nogueira also devastating in his own right. A tremendous round and a great way, as you mentioned, Don Fry, to close out the year 2003 here at Shockwave. Your main event is definitely living up to its billing. You know, if I was half as tough as these guys, I'd still be fighting. <laughs> Dog man, you don't gotta discount stop your this. talents, brother. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> don't say that stuff. You are. There's nobody as tough as well, you. Well, I think Goodridge owes me a fight. I'm, you know, I'm up on him one. You know, we've had three fights. It's two to one. I'm up on him one. Let's come back out of retirement and see if we can uh, finish it off. <laughs> yeah. And it would be something. That would? That would be something. I'm issuing the challenge right now, Mr. Mr. Gary. Come out of retirement. Get your two-month re two retirement over. Come on back. Let's get it done again. Okay, Gary, you heard it.
Coming from the Predator right here. He wants a rematch. See if you can even the score. Round number two begins as Don the Predator Fries issued that challenge. Interesting to see what Goodrich's response may be. Right now we have a response from Nogueira on Sakuraba. That left nice hand and knee up the middle, nice another knee. knee. But Sakuraba doing a good job of the crosswalk block. Back. Oh! Nice cross face there, now starting to get the hat. Fireman's carry looks like there by Sakuraba. Nice move. Oh, trying. He can go right into it. Oh, no. No, both arm legs are outside, huh? It is a fantastic. I think they get both legs outside. Yes, he has. Open guard. Uh, close guard already. You see, it goes from that one second so to the other second. These guys are such great athletes. You don't even see high school wrestlers or collegiate wrestlers moving this fast. Yeah. You know? And that's what makes mixed martial arts the premier sports right now in the world, and especially here at Pride FC. You can talk about the, the many critics on this platform. There's a beautiful kick to the face. But, and you know what, Don, you were a pioneer, in fact, of being a, a, a triple a threat, in fact, with your boxing background, your wrestling background, your submission background. And right now, this is what these fighters are. They're, they're pure machines. They are, they're well-trained in many disciplines. Oh, they're, they're, and they're beautiful at it, too. You know? They just do it so well. It's flows. They've perfected their, each and every aspect of the sport. And the transitions are effortless, as we've stated on so many occasions, and the referee brings them back up to their feet. And the pace is not slowed, as we've noticed. It's been, from the get-go, high intensity between Nogueira and Sakuraba. Many predicted a stand-up war between the Southpaws. We are seeing it here. This is like a marathon war doing, you know, sprinting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to work now, come on. The one who's going to finish this round in the second, the fast, the strongest, is going to be the winner. Nice right hand delivered by Sakuraba. Yeah, but a good block. See, he says, no, 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 I have my block. That's right, but still a lot of power behind the punch. You know, that's real discouraging when you throw something, you land it on somebody, and they talk back to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And there's uh, Nogueira ghosting Sakuraba now. It's close. The level of the two fighters is so close that it makes a really interesting match. But now they're anticipating a little bit. They're, they're waiting and seeing what the other one does. Who's going to make the first mistake? There's a lot of things going on right now with that minds. Right, and the thing is, they're not sitting back waiting for the other guy making a mistake. They're both attacking at the same time. You know, that's why they're both national heroes in their own nation, but also in the world. Yep. That's right, and blood again begins to trickle down the left eye of Nogueira. You know, the reflexes on these guys are just amazing. Yep, and it flows. It's like it's, it, it flows. Look at this. Our relaxed soccer always stands like this. Everybody's anticipating the big jump. Yup. Thing is, no gear is so long and lanky. His lungs are longer than no, uh, Sakuraba's whole body. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we see Sakuraba now working from the standing position. Nogueira in the butt scoop position. Referee's going to bring them back up to their feet. Don and Boss, it has been kind of like a war of attrition thus far. What, what do you see either fighter having to do now to turn it up a notch and gain the upper hand, Don? Sakuraba's going to work that cut. If he works that cut, he can finish the fight. You know, they would have no choice but to call the fight. And for Nogueira, what does he have to do? Uh, Nogueira is doing exactly what he needs. He's pressing the fight, you know. He's oh, taking the fight are. to Sakuraba. And there's the takedown. No, he doesn't have it. The hand is in between. Let me see. Can he pull it out? Can he pull it out? I think he's going to pull Box it out. Box his head out there. Well done, Box. Whoa. I yeah. bought, yes, he's trying going for the triangle. Here is Nogueira. He's got an armbar. This is kind of scary. Triangle choke. He's got an armbar. It's tight. He's got to pull it in now. He's got to pull it as hard as he can. And bringing in those hammer fists as well as Nogueira. He's got Sok a great Sok Sok as high as he can. He's able to pull it out, pull out the side. Yeah, because his elbow is just not far enough. He's got a bridge now. 
And now he's got a bump. And there is such a, these two guys are just such great athletes. Milk is gonna get out. And there he is. Oh, and going for the arm bar attempt here is Duke Sakuraba. But Nintendo uh, Terra, quick, and what a oh, there, there, what, what, a what, a what a classic encounter we are witnessing here at Shockwave 2003. Between two of the premier MMA practitioners you will find anywhere, Kazushi Sakuraba, the Japanese legend, against Rogerio Noguera, who is a legend in his own right in Brazil, a member of the highly esteemed Brazilian top team, his brother, his twin brother, the interim heavyweight champion. And what do you guys see going into round number three? Will the pace continue to be what we've seen thus far. I think it's pick up. This is like a chess game with hand grenades, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to, it's going to, Fur's really going to fly on this round. Oh, look at that. Look at this. God, it was close. It is that Noguera's legs are too long, and that's why he didn't have it. If he would have had a little bit shorter legs, it would have been more tighter. He would have had it. Well, Sakuraba is such a smart athlete, too. You know, you oh, see yeah. how he works to the side. Yeah, he's he so creates that angle out. instead of staying straight ahead and panicking. You know, he stays calm throughout it. He works an angle. That way, Noguera can't get locked in fully. Of course, the Japanese fans here in attendance, the close to 40,000 at the Saitama Super Arena, highly disappointed by what transpired earlier tonight when Hideko Yoshida Lost to Hoyt, well, didn't lose, it was declared a draw because of the special rules, but Hoyt's Gracie thoroughly dominated. But now, their hero here, Kazushi Sakuraba, and Hoyt's won that Hey, Hoyt's won that okay, fight. That's he won that fight. He won that you, fight. You, you, I'll let you say that, Don Fry, because you're right. I can say that, you I'm can, Don Fry. Exactly, I exactly, I'll let you say that, but they now we fire me tomorrow, you know. <laughs> my contract's <laughs> off, so I can say anything I want, but Hoyt's won that fight. And now we're seeing the Japanese legend Sakuraba, the Brazilian great Noguera, put on a tremendous, tremendous fight here in the main event. And something tells me that if it continues this way, regardless of the outcome, the fans here at the Saitama Super Arena will definitely be saying Happy New Year, thanks to Pride FC. Round number three, guys. Whoever finished this one the strongest is going to be the winner. The third and final round of what has been a memorable encounter between Kazushi Sakuraba and Osherio Noguera is underway. Unfortunately, you know, like Sakuraba came in this fight 50%. Now it looks like he's down to 25%. So, you know, he gives the advantage to Noguera. So uh, Sakuraba should really try and work that cut. Noguera should go. He should take off now. And, and, and like you said, Sakuraba should work the cut. It's, it's, like, yeah, like I said, you know, whoever wins this round. Right again. There's a shot by Sakuraba going for the single leg. Good. Let's see how he turns into it. Does Noguera. Good job. Oh, nice deal. Oh, oh. Now a slugfest ensues. Look at Sakuraba now taking the fight to Noguera. Great exchange there, guys. Oh Noguera is not working the, the taking advantage of his length. You know, he's got about a two or three inch reach on Sakuraba, and he's not Sakuraba get in there. Wow, this is a fight, huh? We've seen all the ingredients in this battle. We've seen excellent groundwork, an incredible stand-up battle between Noguera and Sakuraba. Could you ask for anything more to welcome in the year 2004 than what we're seeing here in the main event oh, wow, of Shockwave wow. 2003? Naked dancing girls. <laughs> oh, oh, you're talking about the fight. Yeah. No, no, I was thinking exactly the same as you did. Oh, okay. But there is, yes, I would like to have a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah, a million dollars cash, uh, an island of my own. Yeah. A clean pickup truck. Yeah, yeah. But at least somebody who cleans it. Yeah. <laughs> now going to the body of Sakuraba. Yeah, they got to both turn it up a notch. Who, and right now, I cannot say who's the winner. I cannot say. You know, this 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 fight's a draw in my book. Yep. Right now, I would tend to agree. And maybe 
deservedly so for both great warriors. These guys are wore out. Their hands have dropped down to their bellies, you know. They're not protecting themselves, unfortunately. And I know all about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you remember you, you mean when you left Henderson? Yeah, I'm about to, yeah, I went down there scratching my knee. <laughs> Whoa, they're both waiting. It's I, I think well, when they're going to hear like a two-minute mark or something, I think both of them are going to fly. Oh, there oh, 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 almost knocking out Sakuraba and can Sakuraba take a punch? Man, can Sakuraba take a punch? What a machine. Oh. And another one. He can't take too many more of those. Unbelievable. No Garris to push it right now because he's got him. He's it's got a, him. It's absolutely so amazing. If he would press it, if he'd press that, Sagara would be out. He's gonna go now. Now everything he has. What Rocky says, all your love, if you love it, all your hate. You got to do that right now. Throw if you're watching Kazushi Sakuraba for the first time, you are watching why he is a Japanese legend. Yeah, this, this isn't a freak show. These guys are great. These are world-class athletes. These are the top two athletes in the world. And Antonio Rogerio Noguera, also an unbelievable athlete. These two are pulling out all the stops, and it remains a stalemate. They, get, they, they gotta go to work now. Now the first one who's gonna go to work is gonna be the winner. He's gonna finish. Well, we finish. talked about that after round two. Would the pace remain the same? It definitely has slowed down, but that may be because of the punishment that both have absorbed. But here comes oh. Logera again, lunging forward with the left to the right. Logera's gonna quit losing. He's leaning too much. He's just gotta sit down on his punches, take advantage of his reach. He's got a two, three against reach. The final minute, and you can hear the crowd. One minute, what can they do? He's got to unload. Noguera's got to unload. Sakuraba's got to unload. What does it do? Noguera's got to pick up her with those jabs, just like that. Can someone load up in the next 30 seconds? Oh, yeah. oh, the knockout blow, that was almost one right there. Gotta keep going. And another there one, Noguera. Yeah, so exactly. He gets the pepper on that. Um, Work the jabs, stay in motion, and they'll have it. What a fighter spirit! Look man. at his face. I can't believe it. Sakuraba. Sakuraba. What a, what a yeah, no Gara no, You're right. You are right. Look now at right now look at Sakuraba come back. I tell you, Sakuraba's not gonna be sleeping with his face on the pillow. Tonight. Left hand, but he slipped. He slipped. He slipped. Oh, the repeated kick to the head. That was a slip. That was a slip. Oh, that's out. Uh, that was a beautiful fight. That beautiful. That's the best fight of the year. It, I would tend to agree, Don Fry, that it was a classic to close up Shockwave 2003. And Kazushi Sakuraba has just added to his legend here in Japan. And Antonio Rogerio Noguera has just served notice that he is more than a force to be reckoned with. He is coming off an injury, but it has not suffered any rust whatsoever. Look at this. Bang, bang, bang. Three hits. Uh, I thought I thought Sakuraba was out about four times that fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. Uh, that says a lot for Sakuraba, you know, for his endurance and his strength and fortitude to stay in that fight. Now, let's just go quickly through as we continue to see these devastating blows. I want to put everyone on a list quickly, John Fry. How do you how do you see this? And now look at it. Look at it. Out. I have to give it to Noguera, you know. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. He finished the strongest. I mean, right there you go. That's proof in the pudding. That's How about it. you, boss? Same I thing? think so, too. I mean, especially Brazil. Hey, they got good sucker players, and that was the sucker kick. There we go. It's a complete sweep then. But again, Kazushi Sakuraba, oh. even if he loses, That's adds crazy. to his legendary status here in Japan. Uh, you know what? Yeah, no, Gareth, I think he's if it, There's not a loss. He just doesn't get his hand raised. You know, you don't get beaten in a fight with that. There's no loser. No, Gareth won the fight. And he, will, he should. He should. That was a good no, fight. Rogerio, no, Gareth. Wins the bout. But really, Don Fries, you just, well, described it. There are no losers in this main event. No, 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 no. You're right. They're both of, both of the winners. An unbelievable battle. And that's exactly what it was, a battle between Kazushi Sakuraba 
and Antonio Ogerio Noguera. And Noguera, you guys coming off a, a long hiatus with the arm injury, showing no rust whatsoever, and holding no, no, it up. He, he takes, one, takes one of the best fighters in the world, you know? He stepped up, he didn't he didn't question it. Comes off the injury, and he fights one of the best. I mean, that takes, takes big gonads right there. Yep. Don the Predator from Fry, it's been an absolute pleasure. Nice to see that you, you my friend, you. are healthy. Thank you very much, Don, for being with us. Ogerio Nogueira there with Murilo Bustamante and other members of Brazilian top team. And again, Don Fry suffering a loss tonight at the hands of Gary Goodrich. And I know a loss is always hard to take, but something tells me that inside, perhaps Don Fry, having moments to reflect later on, will say, you know what? Gary Goodrich's retirement fight. I, I want a rematch, but maybe it wasn't so bad after all because I did lose to a, an equally good man and Gary Goodrich. And maybe. No, I, <laughs> no, he's not. It's, a, it's just a two month layoff for both of us. Let's, let's put it in perspective. Okay. We'll both be back okay. in two months. Okay. There you see Kazushi Sakuraba, the Japanese phenom. And ladies and gentlemen, from top to bottom tonight, it was an outstanding show. Shockwave 2003 will go in the books. A very memorable event, and none more memorable than our main event, which saw Antonio Rogerio Nogueira score the unanimous decision victory over Kazushi Sakuraba. On behalf of all of our guest commentators, the many warriors of Pride FC, and a special thanks again to Don Fry for El Wapo Bas Rutas. This is Moro Ranallo saying sayonara from the Saitama Super Arena in Japan. Okay, and I'm saying Happy New Year to everybody. Have a good and healthy New Year.